The idea of the year election is over and we officially have three winning ideas. The Monty Moles, the glitching floor and the turn based combat will all get another video exploring the idea behind the idea a little bit more. Today we start this mini series by taking a closer look at drivable mole cars. Not only will we add a new minor point to our dangerous list of evil and have Mario move a moving platform on top of a moving platform, but we will also take a look at how our little mole is doing. So you ready? Let's do this. So Mario's day starts like most of his days do. He finds himself on top of a huge mole car in a castle filled with lava while magic hoopers are shooting PlayStation button missiles towards him. This would be pretty bad already, but things are about to become worse for a plumber. Because not only has he to avoid the dangerous PlayStation symbols and to avoid to drop into the lava, but there is also a don't leave the corridor contraption at work here. If Mario leaves this small area only for a short moment, the floor disappears like so many times before and Mario has to take a bath in the really hot liquid. If Mario wants to reach the exit door without losing any of his precious lives, he needs to be really careful to drive the mall car highly concentrated and to wait until the hidden shell timer expires. We are able to track whether Mario left the corridor here because of a really simple form P-switch contraption. But there is also another contraption at work in order to prevent Mario from just jumping down. If Mario jumps down, the floor disappears nonetheless because of this small Schrödinger's noteblock setup. So Mario really has to beat this idea in the intended way. No way to cheat here. After this little warm up, it's time for an actual challenge for Mario. Now he finds himself in the middle of a really chaotic boss fight against Bowser Jr. Mario has faced Bowser Jr. many many times in his life. He fought against him in many crazy and dangerous arenas. But this one might be the most dangerous one of them all. The whole floor is jumping up and down in different intervals, but not only this, as there are ouching wrenches flying around as well. And this is all before Bowser Jr. spit a single fireball. But luckily, Mario is able to win even this fight. Hooray! For our next idea, we had a new entry onto our dangerous list of evil. Don't cross the line. Here Mario rides a Monty Mole car once again, but this time he can't simply jump over the obstacles in his path, as jumping is forbidden here. Or to be precise, crossing the track line is forbidden. There are certain areas where Mario actually is allowed to jump, as long as he doesn't cross the line. So our plumber not only has to drive like a 200cc driver, but he also has to be careful not to cross the dangerous line. Wow, looks like a busy day at work for Mario, but that's the price you have to pay if you decide to quit your well-paying plumber job in order to go all in with your princess saving startup idea. Anyway, the don't cross the line contraption is super simple here. All we use are anti-jump forms and buzzy beetles in order to create different trigger heights for the don't jump contraption. Next up is something really dangerous. So far, Mario only had to drive a moving platform, but now... Now he has to drive a moving platform on top of a moving platform. While the platform at the bottom constantly moves to the left, Mario controls the movement of the moving platform on top of the moving platform. Meanwhile, horrific lava bubbles try to touch our plumber while he moves his moving platform while the platform moves. Wow, how dangerous. I think it is really moving how Mario moves the moving platform while the platform moves in order to move closer towards his princess, which unwillingly moved into Bowser's castle. Next up, Mario finds himself on top of a gigantic Monty Mole car, a car so huge it is probably best described as a Monty truck. First, Mario has to drive this truck into a small minigame. Here he needs to survive until the track timer to his right expires. While he waits, he has to dodge the dangerous cannonballs, which this dangerous super cannon shoots towards him. Once Mario made it through this dangerous section, he faces an even more difficult challenge. To his right is a wall jump trigger. Mario needs to jump towards this wall jump trigger three times in a row in order to trigger a key obtaining mechanism. While this sounds like an easy task in theory, things turn out to be a little bit more complicated in reality, as there is not only a dangerous cannonball wall which tries to bring this little adventure to an abrupt end, but there is also a red bullet blaster chasing him. There is actually a small neat little trick hidden here. The floor at the bottom of the screen only exists when Mario doesn't look at it, but as soon as the floor is inside the current camera border and therefore visible, it disappears. This is once again because of a simple Schrödinger's noteblock vertical position trigger. So that's mainly it, but before we end this little video, let's quickly travel back in time and let's find out what happened to our small strong mole since we last saw him. All that our little strong mole ever wanted was to be respected by the other moles, but the other moles only looked down onto him and so he came up with a plan. 
he thought. He could become a legend if he was the one to defeat Mario. He thought defeating this Italian plumber is a once in a lifetime opportunity. The only way to finally earn a little bit of respect. He couldn't have been more wrong. He crossed the line. Things became too dangerous. Strength is weakness, the other moles told him, but he didn't listen. They stopped to look down onto him and instead became afraid, but he didn't realize. They warned him, but he didn't care. He became possessed by the idea of all the fame he could earn by defeating Mario, by doing something that not even a king was able to do. He crossed the line and suddenly he found himself imprisoned in a cell as if he was some sort of animal. No mole cared about him, they left him there to rot. What an irony that Mario was the one to free him. This was the moment when he finally understood that not the other moles were his friends, Mario was. The strong mole went into hiding. He didn't care about the other moles anymore. All that he wanted to do was to thank Mario for giving him a second chance. Can you imagine how happy the little mole was when Mario suddenly passed the little mole's hiding place? This was his chance to thank Mario for giving him a second chance in life, to hug him and to tell him about all the fantastic things he realized because our plumber saved.